the afternoon and throughout the evening here on Fox 59. In the meantime, more local news tonight. Two men are dead and nearly a dozen people shot after a violent weekend in Indianapolis. Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains one of the fatal shootings took place at a troubled apartment complex on Indy's near west side that has a very violent history. The deadly shooting here at this apartment building marks the third homicide at the same complex this year. It's also the fifth homicide in just over three years. Unfortunately, a majority of those cases remain unsolved. Lying in his own bed just before 6 o'clock Saturday night here at the Maple Creek Village Apartments near Michigan and Holt, a man identified by family as Antonio Trotter was ambushed and shot to death in his apartment the day after his 63rd birthday. The motive for that murder remains unclear. We've been just like our life stopped. Natalie doesn't know Trotter, but she does know the pain his family is feeling because her family is still grieving the loss of 17-year-old Corian Waits, who was shot to death in the same complex last year. Dating back to the summer of 2021, there have now been five homicides on the troubled property. Corian's family wonders if more security needs to be added to the complex to keep everyone safe and prevent any more killings. What are we doing is the question that I'm asking. What has been done in between each one of these homicides for the next one to not occur or just not freely be able to occur and no one answer to it? Finally, anyone with information on the weekend homicide, the death of Corian Waits, or any of the other unsolved homicides can still contact either IMPD's homicide office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Jesse, thank you. And